Get money. I do get money. Too. You get money without the PPP? <laughs> nah, it's all legit. All legit? Yeah, you a scammer too? I'm scared. You make big bands? You gonna take me out? Hell no. Nah. Why not? If you get money, then why you can't spend it on me? I don't want you. I know you get money. Your next girl. We met. No. So this is your first time walking up? Yes. You ain't see me with a blindfold? No. Well, we good. I'm good. Good as in? I don't want you. I don't want you neither. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. Like, you walked up here for us to conversate. No, right? I didn't conversate. They told me to come in just to do promotion. Oh, type shit. Type oh, shit. What promo? Oh, I own a network. What network? I run reality shows. Oh, okay. Your chain real? Yeah. Look, love. That shit real? Yeah, it is. You want to check the price? I don't really care. Okay, me neither. Type, type shit. Yeah. Me. I didn't do nothing. You have fornicated multiple times. You have now developed preferences. This is why God never wanted for us to have outside of marriage. Once you've experienced things that you should have only experienced within wedlock, you develop preferences. So when you meet a really good woman, she's everything you need, but she can't turn it up in the bedroom like that freak can. You may pass up on your soulmate because she can't please you like the freak. And a lot of people have lost out on good relationships because they didn't come with freak of the week talent. I've had women, sisters admit it. I should have married him, but he couldn't turn it up in the bedroom. Jailbirds are up one. Y'all dudes that's on the streets, y'all gotta step y'all game up. Y'all are losing. To these dudes that's in the damn prison system okay i was on TikTok last night and i ran across a live it was like four dudes that was in the feds um so i just tapped in to be nosy to see what they were talking about do y'all know it's like it was thousands of girls on there like being so fucking thirsty asking these locked up dudes oh what's your jpay i want to see you some money i want to come see you i want to be your pen pal like has a dating pool become that fucking bad that we got to reach out to niggas that's locked up for love and these niggas is winning like they taking all the bitches the bad ones too like y'all dudes on the streets gotta step y'all game up y'all are losing terribly to some niggas in the all right i know y'all thinking the same thing i'm thinking is she telling us regular hard-working guys out here to get on the level of jailbirds I, I don't. I think that's what she's saying. Y'all, let me know in the comments. So she's saying we need to step our game up to jailbirds level. I am officially convinced that, bro, we we are in trouble. The fact that she's telling us hardworking men to to step our level up. To jailbird level shows that she needs help and this is the mentality of a lot of women this is definitely the mentality because she says she was on tiktok and she's seen a thread of mainly black women you know talking and getting with these jailbird dudes but you know what that is you know why that is it's because a lot of these women, real guys out here don't want to deal with. They don't want to deal with you. So they have to go to a jailbird. They have to go to somebody who's locked down that they can never see, that they have to go and spend money on to talk to. They have to do this because they are so bad to the point to where no guys out here, good guys who are not in jail want to talk to them. But they go and say, we need to step our game up. <laughs> Talking about the dating pool is bad. No, it's bad because of women like you. That's why it's bad. Let's keep the video going. Penitentiary. What? That's wild. And don't be mad at me. I'm just saying. I guess they loving the jail talk right now. I don't know. It's working. Whatever they saying and whatever they doing, it's working. Every other female I know is dealing with some dude in prison. I don't know, but it speaks volumes about y'all dudes on the streets. Oh my God. And she making, she's making it look like she said something. Like she's like, 
Oh, that speaks volume about you guys. You guys really have to... No, you have to step it up. <laughs> the fact that nobody wants you to the... You know, to, to, to the point to where you have to go and get with somebody who's doing life in prison, bro. This right here literally shows, bro, like... Man, it is sad out here for the guys. It is sad, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that video in the comments, man. And, um... Hey, bro, like, tell me what is she is anything she's saying justifiable or is it the fact that a lot of these women has failed so miserable that they have to resort, resort to jailbirds? You feel me? But yeah, tell me what you think about the video in the comments, man. See you guys next video, man. Hey, y'all going to follow me on Instagram at 200 underscore acres. Hey, and always remember, be safe out there, Kings. Let's get it, man.